How we doing? Guys, it's the Man United agenda. 48 hours after the um the debacle that was the Brentford game. Um bath time is probably not the best time for you to come back, but welcome back, my friend. How are you feeling, man? Yeah, I'm all right. Uh through you know, got through the woods, sticky, sticky patch there, but we made it made it through and I'm um really pleased, really pleased to be back. I've missed I've missed everyone in chat and um and speaking to you as well, Mr. Big. Oh, good, good. I'm I'm glad you're back, man. I can have some some logical conversation with you. As a Monday's decided to depart today, although he still might join us a little bit late, but we'll see. Um, we'll just say a couple of howdies before we get into um Ten Hag and the um and the mess that's going on. <laughs> uh Stephanie Griffiths out of the three seemingly untouchable poster boys, Bruno McTominay and Rashford bench sell keep. One must definitely go. Discuss, please. Big up TMUA. Oh, yeah, we'll discuss that. That's no problem. I'm sure their names are going to come up. Um, Matty Bassett, good evening. But, Stephanie, good question. I was fortunately, <laughs> somebody may well be sold. We'll see. We'll see. Um, Andrew Williams, picking us all up, asking if everybody's all right. Damien Walsh, good evening, everyone. Like I've been saying for years, the Man United midfield is a massive problem. Outplayed by teams like Luton and Brentford, it's embarrassing. And more good, Matty. What's up? And Ten Hag needs to go back to Ajax. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where do we? Where, where, where do we actually start? Bath time. Um, do we start with the game? Obviously, I was. I, I'll be honest. I did. I did a watch along, and I. My, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't set up a thumbnail. I couldn't do nothing. So I had a little discussion afterwards and moped around most of Sunday, to be fair, which doesn't happen very often after a game. Um, and uh, so. no work to distract from today either. It's like yeah. you're pregnant with that performance. I suppose for me, um, what I'd most like to know is, is that like um, you've become a staunch Ten Hag defender. From what I've seen on social media, um, I can hear protests coming. From the <laughs> out the front. But you've got you got Ten Hag up there, um, Mister B. You've had a, you've had a day to cool down. But what? Where are you with Ten Hag at the moment? I'm still Ten Hagging, but I tell you what, it is. I'll be honest, it is just about. I want. <laughs> His tactics are a mess, bath time. Mm -hmm. um, he can't decide what he wants his team to do and it's killing him at the moment or it's killed him. Or, what, well, we've got nine games left till the end of the season, including the FA Cup semi-final. So, whatever happens now, nothing's going to change. It's just whether those players are willing... They have to. They have to be following his his instructions because they played like that since the first game of the season. Yeah. Um. They've had opportunities to throw him under the bus, and they haven't. In certain right, games, let's, let's let's start with that. Do you, do you think that the players put in the required amount of effort against Brentford? No, certain players work too hard. Had to work too hard. Um, no, I don't. I think when we start a game now, um, and this is obviously down to the manager, to be fair. We start a game now, we have Marcus, who doesn't run. Bruno, who can't pass <coughs> to anybody, regardless of whether it's a short or a long one. And we have McTominay, when he plays, who, to me, just covers everybody else's space. He doesn't play in a midfield. He plays, I don't know what he plays as when he plays. I know you call it a box crasher, but mm -hmm. he just seems to get in the way of Bruno and Hoyland in particular. Um, so those are, and those are the, his three, not saying go-to players, but they seem to be the ones who don't get dropped, regardless of form. I mean, McTominay did at the beginning of the season, but he's the only one who's scoring. So I suppose he did um, warrant a place 
in certain games. I still wouldn't start him anywhere. I'll still only have him as a sub, but that's just my opinion. Um, the team that it's now got to the stage where a lot of maybe the fans who were back in Ten Hag are drifting slowly away from it. But I just want the players to, if Ten Hag goes, I want the trash to go as well. Okay, so I suppose if we, if we go to Steph's comment, which um, I think there's a lot of people in chat quite like, um, the obvious answer to this, right, is that Bruno is the guy to sell because of homegrown stuff. But I'm going to take that out, right? So it does. homegrown doesn't matter, doesn't matter the price. Out of McTominay, Rashford and Bruno, which one are you keeping, first of all? Like you keeping in me? the team. Yeah, you. Which one's staying in the team? Are we, are we talking about in the squad? Or are no. we talking about in the starting? It's starting. None of them. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I, can't. I, can't. I can't sit here and say that. Yeah, I, I I don't think any of them deserve a start. Rash has been disgusting this season. You know, up until I probably gave him the benefit of the doubt up until Christmas. He's been shocking, man. He's regardless of whatever reason, he's been absolute trash. I'm going to put it. I hope he doesn't go to the Euros. I hope he has a summer to reflect on how bad he's been and why he hasn't been picked. Because to me, the, getting called up to the, the national squad is supposed to be the highlight. I don't think he deserves the accolade, so I don't think he deserves to start. Bruno is the one who I feel would be more likely to start because he's the captain. Yeah. That's more why I think he's more likely to start. And you know my opinion on McTominay already. We just there's sure. no point in going back into that. So, what about you, Bath Time? Um, I'd probably keep Bruno because I've seen I've seen what Bruno can do, like under a different manager, under Solskjaer. You saw all Bruno's bad habits and all this stuff, but he he had an output. He affected he affected football matches. And it wasn't too long ago we were sort of like saying, is he the best signing since Eric Cantona? As crazy as that was. So Bruno, um, I would keep and I'd like to see him under a different manager. McTominay, I would bench. Um, I think he's a good person to have around um, the club and he has particular skill sets that I think the team, the team need. And that leaves Rashford, who um, I, I, I mean... There was a moment in the game, Mr. B. It was in the first five minutes where Rashford got the ball and he played like Jack Grealish. He was just slow. He drew men in. He drove at the defence. He did some beautiful ball control and he laid it off to Bruno to shoot. And I thought, Jesus, if if Rashford can do this with every opportunity he's got, the, the sky is the limit. He's He's got everything you need to be an incredible football player but for whatever reason he's gone dead at united like the connection with the home guard with the match going fans is gone um the connection like that people sort of have have with him has 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 left and he doesn't he's not enjoying his football he doesn't feel like he's part of the team like i thought hoyland had a shocking game at the weekend um do you want to do you want to speak to this man? I do. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No worry, I got it. I got um, it. I got it. I got it. Give me uh, two minutes, mate. All right, just just as we're waiting for Tate to come on. Sorry, Andy to come on. I always call him Tate. It's so rude. Um, I'm just going to go through some of the some of the comments. Um, we've got Damien saying he's got a new job. Congratulations. So sorry, I haven't been online as a work nights now, but love the channel. Damien, we're, as long as you're doing well in life, we're happy. Um, we've got Big G, who I haven't seen for a while. Oi, oi, fellas. Um, we've got Matty Bassett. Ollie Ball was better than Eric Ball. Completely true. Matty is Eric out. He's, he's gone. Big G. He's been, he's been Eric out for a little while, to be fair. Has he? Yeah. Okay. Um, the Brentford game has got Eric the sack. The decision has been made, in my opinion. It won't get announced like until the end of the season. I I would 
sort of I, I i would go with that as well um i think uh, we've got andrew saying dennis trying to defend scott's performance nice he's come back topic i'm not defending anyone's performance um andrew i didn't think that mctominay was the worst player on the pitch but he, he didn't really do particularly well hi andy i'm just going to finish the comments if you don't mind go ahead you're the boss no, i'm not <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm the secretary. Um, we got Pat. Pat, hello, Bath Home and, and Mr. B. I feel I really feel for Eric Ten Hag. He's taken so much on his shoulders. He looks so run down. I wish the players cared as much as he does. Pat, you can piss off, to be honest, with that. Um, <laughs> look, 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 he looks so run down. I don't care. Um, early doors. Good evening. Um, Here's Andy saying if he wants in. And here's Dora. Worst game I've seen in a long time. And we lost 7-0 last season. Um, and we've got the dear departed solo greeting uh, greeting Andy Tate to the panel. Andy, how are you, sir? Uh, frustrating. <laughs> I don't. But I had a good day yesterday with, with my family. Had a nice meal. Went to the fun fair. Walked the dog over the weekend. Went for a drive out in the countryside. Apart from that, uh, something happened Saturday night which ruined my night. But apart from that, it was a it was an okay weekend. <laughs> Good. How do how do you think? Right, go on. Tell, what what are you thinking about the game about Ten Hag? Give it to us. You know what? I thought the Bournemouth game was the worst I've seen in forty years at Old Trafford, and it was that was the worst away performance one sided I've seen in forty years. I've seen a few over the years where United never did anything, never tried. I can't, I can't, there was a game in the title race. We went we went to City, Vinny Company had a, United didn't do nothing. We didn't get a corner till like the 92nd minute. And it, it was just like that. It was so one-sided on Saturday night. And the way these players, they're getting away with murder. Seriously, if this was a trial in court, <laughs> Seriously, you'd be acquitted because they're that incompetent. How would you plead? They still plead. They take the fifty sixth and the and the seventh, eighth amendment if there was one in America. Seriously, they're that incompetent. They get away with it. I am sick to the bat teeth now. And now, bat time. You said something about Senag. Did you see him? Jesus, he looked. He looked like the Walking Dead. Honestly, he was. Mm. He looked. Pride of sleep, energy, enthusiasm. You see the camera going on him and his expressions as well. He's, he's, he must be thinking. It was just like the Newcastle game as well, where nobody's running, nobody's yep. doing anything. And, and I think, like I say, there needs to be wholehearted changes um, on player level. If the manager's removed as well, it's fair enough. But you can't, you can't, why should they? Get a clean slate again and again and again. I would say Ineos will notice they've they've taken they've taken stock over the weekend and we've seen the Fulham game and they've they've reacted to like let's like say they've seen Tenag. I thought we played well. We thought we played well. International break is not an excuse for for the basics of working, running, playing for the fans. A lot of fans went down there. Oh, do you notice how the players give the shirts to the fans at the end as a way of thank you? Well, I think they've recouped all their travel fees and hotel fees selling them T-shirts if they can. Because <laughs> it's the only way to reimburse some of the away fans. You know what I mean? But there has to be now wholehearted changes come the end of the season. Really big changes. And if it's a sacrificial lamb, somebody has to walk the plank, somebody has to drive his Bentley somewhere else in the country uh -huh. or take it abroad, I'm all for it. And I don't care who it is, whether you are a number number nine, you are a, you think you, you can't be touched, you're a number 10, you're Scottish, you're Portuguese. I have had enough. Enough. Enough is enough. The, the responsibility is now you're going to turn up Thursday, you're going to turn up Sunday, then you won't turn up at an FA Cup semi final. So, uh, are, you, are you going to turn up at Chelsea? You'll turn up against Liverpool, 
then you won't turn up against Coventry. So what what's it going to be, Reds? It, 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 they, get, they get away with murder. And he, like I said this on Saturday, stick with us. I said it on a pad. They, they, they spout shit, these players. Stick with us. Stick with us. We, you know, keep the faith. Keep keep the faith. One minute you want to hug them at that, that Liverpool game. Mm. And the next, you want to throttle their throats. And do you know what I mean? And, uh, and that's what you want, and, that, and that's the way we're, we're feeling at the moment. I am sick to the back team. I can't get, I don't know what to expect. And this is like a box of gone off chocolates, let alone. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. Every one of them chocolates is bad. You know what I mean? Or a pack, box of licorice art sorts. Nobody likes the licorice art sorts. Some of them, there's always one we don't like, and that's the one that's like them United players. You cannot. St- I cannot stand the sight of any of them. For what? If I see one walking down the street, everyone's rushing towards them. Do you know what? I just carry on walking. <laughs> see, I won't even. Well, ask hopefully, for they're rushing to beat them up. No, I, I wouldn't even ask for Marcus Rashford's autograph on the street, mate. That that's how I, I'm so disconnected with some of these players now. I'm just shaking my head. I mean, the only positive was Mount, yeah. and and that's good. That I like Mount. I really do. Like, and I just don't. That will galvanise him to have a better year, a good you know, seat end to the season and help him. And I really hope he does well because I, for one, will like to see him out next season. But enough is enough now. You've seen it's, it's taking its toll on the fans. This team is taking its toll on the manager as well. And the manager, he's going he's gonna to get, if he gets the bullet, why can't they get the bullet as well? And this is where you're going to see a clash upstairs. If Ineos, on a recommendation of Mr. Brailsford or Barada or whatever, or Sir Jim, we need to sell a sacrificial lamb. And a, and a, and a, and a Yankee Doodle Dandy's going to approve it. You know what I mean? It, 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 that, that, that's then a, a football decision, right? Yeah, it's a football decision, but then it's, it's a clash in the... In the house, yeah. we're, we're told to come in, make do football operations, mm. right? And the football operations state if a player needs to be moved on, can we move them on? Are you going to give the okay? Are you going to bring this back to square one? We ain't going nowhere. We're at stalemate. We're going to clash I, in the boardroom. I think it also depends. Like if you're selling Rashford, it's not just a football decision because of um, marketing in sponsorships. And st- yeah, like th- there is a marketing element to a couple to a couple of these players. We've even seen McTominay become like a, a poster boy for United in the last four or five months. I can I can see people getting involved with the Rashford sale because of like how fundamental he is. To you mean from a legal it. consequence or something? You know um, I mean? He's forced yeah. out the door, or it's a you know I'm staying, I'm sticking. Oh no, you're going. Like Alex Ferguson, I'm staying. What get what up yep, stamp? I'm staying. No, you're gone, mate. Go. You know what I mean? Well, I think I think the thing is, Andy, is that with like all these deals, like with you know, Adidas and Nike and all this, like whoever our sponsors are, DHL, um, they all the, the, they're not just getting the image rights to United, they're getting the image rights to the oh players, yeah, Marcus it? Rashford, DHL delivery. <laughs> oh, <that's brilliant. laughs> fucking hell, it is delivering. <laughs> A fucking pizza, mate. I'm telling you, could deliver a fucking post. Um, let's do let's do some comments because um, you made a really interesting point about the Newcastle game. I want to come back to. Oh, uh, all right, Big G. There are no decent cl- club. There are no decent captains at the club. The full start and eleven should be captains, in my opinion. And when you go back to sort of like Pallister's, Bruce, Keynes, Inces. Like they, they were all big, strong figures that like demanded more from the teammates, and something we're missing. Um, and they are saying none of this really should matter. It's a good thing we played like that. At least Ineos know the extent of the problem. Bang on! Yeah, it's all on show now, isn't it? It's like a nudist beach. No, will they no. act though? Will 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 they be able to act though? Because I'm with Andy. If if Ten Hag's got to go. Ten Hag wasn't the one not running on the pitch. I think some of those players need to go as well. So, it, will they have 
the balls to do what needs to be done because it's all well and good talking, talking the talk. But in the summer, a lot of those players need to be walking the walk and are Ineos going to be strong enough to, to get rid of it? It's all well and good getting rid of Amrabat. That's an easy one to get rid of. You know what well, I mean? So he was only Hag. here alone. Yeah, yeah. You can easily get rid of players like Ericsson, Maguire, you know, sell him. But are you going to get, are you going to make a sacrifice, you know? Yeah, really make one of the big ones. The plank. Yeah, make somebody walk the plank. Or I don't want to go. I'll tell you what, Rashford, if you want to stay, you can stay, buy a season ticket and watch it from the stand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you on the pitch. The thing is, though, Andy, right? Is that there's, so you... many, there's so many fans in Stretford End when Rashford equalised against you at uh, Liverpool. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're all together, Rashford, Rashford, Rashford. When, when we scored the winner, my dad was telling me the United fans giving him shit. Like, uh, we're all celebrating, but we're you know, giving him, we're giving me dad the V's, and my dad's like, oh, fuck off, we're still shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it, 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 you, you can't polish a turd. There is the fundamental things of United. I think in, the, in another time, in another dimension, that moment would carry us on to the end of the yeah. season. That would, in a Fergie season, or maybe even Mourinho, that would carry us through to the end of the season. You know, and, and, and do you know, fuel us to finish the season good and you know, high as we can. This is just another moment in our season. That's all I'm, it is. I mean, and I want to go back to your thing about, like, sa sacrificial lamb. I don't think that there's any point in having a sacrificial lamb because the point of the sacrificial lamb, right, is to scare the shit out of everyone else in the club. I don't think you can scare Rashford like into No, 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 no. You you sacrifice Rashford, you scare the living shit out of everybody else in that team. You, you he's the only one. Though. I think he would be the only No, I think he's right, but he would be the only one. There's nobody else of a <clears throat> of a high enough um standing I, I think within the club. If Maguire goes, it's it is what it is. If Casemiro yeah, yeah. goes, you know, Varane goes, I think he would be the highest profile one. The shock one would be Bruno. What about Shaw? Think... Like, he's... He's, he's, quite... he's always injury prone, though, he's isn't he? So... Testimonial, yeah. It won't bother me about Shaw anymore. It, yeah. It, 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 it won't bother me. But sacrificial lamb Rashford, you know, I mean, but, I mean look, look at Barcelona. They got rid of Messi. Messi left. Yeah, but they didn't have a choice. I think that was a whole different scenario. It wasn't yeah. down to to them letting him go, really. He he wanted to leave first with the Borofax, and like he bankrupted that club. It's more. I mean, the one that comes to my mind is Coutinho at Liverpool, um, uh, where they was it 150 million they sold yeah. him for and yeah. built. Uh, um, Turn it down. Yeah. Like I mean, for me, I'm I'm against the sacrificial lamb because I I, I think that. The easy thing for Ineos to do, right, is remove the manager, get a new one in, we go again, fresh slate. I think what they have to do is take the hard route and rip out a lot, a lot of the players. And Agreed. would you, but would you too take it right if we got rid of, let's just say we get rid of Maguire, Rashford, Bruno, McTominay, and Shaw, right? And um, we we get rid of them. And we finish sixth or seventh next year. Would you would you accept that? Not be happy. Yeah, with would, it, because, it. Yeah. because yeah. We, okay. we would have new players in and you would have to give them time and you would have to learn. And I would I would rather have fresh legs, players with energy who want to play, play football, learn evolution, and actually play and you know. And you know, I was blown away by the support of fans. I think mm -hmm. the connection between the fans and the players is is way for thin. It is so way for thin. Do you, you think know? the younger players then are are the key to this? Because you look at the 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 enthusiasm that Rasmus plays with. All right, yeah. he he's still raw and he doesn't get the service, so we're never going to see. I mean, good grief. Um, what's his name? Tony. Must have had six chances. Rasmus never going to get six chances in a well, game. You you look at our three stars: Menu, Rasmus, Ganacho. They the would babies. get Kobe. Yeah, Kobe. They would get 
into any of the top three in the Premier League. They will get into a Barcelona side. They will get into a Bayern Munich side, PSG, Real Madrid. But that's that has to be the core we have to work around now. So, like you say, bath time says, I will take that next season. Yeah. Get rid of that crap mm. and bring in some more players, you know, Get rid of some seniors, like you know, bring and bring them some other seniors in from other, yeah. other clubs. You know, well we bet. can't have a completely young team. I get that we would we we we, we, we could finish mid table, but I would get rid of them senior players and bring in senior players from other clubs who actually want to play football. I look at Arsenal and the evolution they've come from on this season. It's it's, it's unbelievable. I, I, honestly, I even I message Robert. And I, I say, I hope they do win the league, but it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Our United standards can rise and drop and rise and drop. And uh, where are we going to finish this season? I was saying, the Champions League is done. I mean, is this going to be a Louis van Gaal moment? Oh, we've won the FA Cup. Yay! Um, here's your P45, mate. Yeah, here you go. I bite your hand off for that, Andy. A trophy this, this season. I can't see that. <laughs> within an hour, within an hour, Rashford is sold to PSG for 150 million. <laughs> within an hour of scoring the goal in the FA Cup final, happy days, mate. You know what I mean? So yeah, the decision was made as you're having a party. Yeah, yeah. We any of us have to be ruthless, man. And if it, if if it means taking the chocolate hobnobs and having the best biscuits and pissing off the rest of pe- raiding the biscuits in and pissing off everybody else like I do. You know what I mean? You know, <laughs> rattle, rattle the people upstairs. Go for it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I agree. I think that, like, the Liverpool game, at the time, I thought that the players, that they should see that this is what Manchester United can be. Like, when you see, like, how rocking the stadium was, oh, the levels yeah. of support, the glory, everything... But oh. now I'm thinking that maybe maybe Ineos have seen that and they're like, this is what United should be. And that these players, with let's with those three youngsters, plus maybe Delo, who I think has credited uh, himself well this Yeah, Delo, I would say the keeper as well. I would yeah. say who now and, and, and um, Martinez as well. But, uh yeah, the, you've seen the two, two comparisons. You've seen you've seen like a leopard change its spots in camouflage just like that. Black predator. <laughs> Man, black predator. We we shown ourselves what we can do. <laughs> in them trees. We 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 ex- we know we can play like that. We beat Liverpool. Then we just go yeah. back into with that shit kit as well on Saturday. Like just playing like camouflage. Honestly, absolutely garbage. Sorry. All right, let's do let's do some com- let's do some comments. I I do actually really like the predator analogy, but the the only thing I don't like about it is it would probably show like injuries far quicker. Like <laughs> you read vision, see Martinez's <laughs> foot. Um. Anyway, all right. Pat is calling me a heartless bastard because I don't care about how Eric Ten Hag looks. Um. Which senior United players, those have been more than three seasons, are currently not underperforming? Delo. Straight off the top of my head, I think. Um, and anyone else? No, I can't think of anybody. No, I mean, yeah. I feel for Ericsson, I really do because he, he's not been this, he was really doing well up until that. The injury, and Andy, Andy Carroll, yeah, yeah. I feel for Ericsson. I thought if it weren't for that tackle. He would have been a, a, a real a, a Scott McPlot wouldn't have been his the, the favourite <laughs> for this season. You know what I mean? So it's a shame for Ericsson. But uh yeah. he's had opportunity since then to come back in, which is like I mean, you, maybe you can say that that's Ten Hag not giving up, not letting players take their opportunity, like Ahmad and so on. But I, I think I think Ericsson might be a player that's actually just given up. To be honest, like yeah, he just right. want, he just wants the season to finish. Yeah, he can go to the Euros and get a club afterwards. Yeah, he's done. That's how I kind of feel about Ericsson. Like, um, you see what bugs me if some of these players leave them pr- prosper at another club in next season, it just leaves you scratching your head, guys. That and when they leave, they always take a pay cut. Yeah, yeah. I mean, 
look, look at my, uh, is, if, is Martial going to shine when he leaves? You know, Nobody is, wants him. I don't think he's going to go. He, he's going to end up training at the club during the summer and then rewatch and re sign in a fucking <laughs> uh, getting a new <laughs> bloody contract. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Oh, my we'll, re, God. we'll re fucking sign him. I know we will. <laughs> it's, it's Sancho's the one that scares me. Like, I, I just really don't want to see him do well, to be honest. But no, I, I don't want will. Sancho back at the club either. I mean, I, I, if yeah. he comes back, he, he's. Oh, God. I, I mean, there's still going to be poison. But there'll still be bad blood in that dressing room if he comes back and some players, you know, come in. Uh, I mean, if if Sancho comes back in, Rashford's sold. Oh, where's my home boy gone? Oh, for God's sake, come on me home now. You know what I mean? Vice versa, you know what I mean? So, uh, clean, clean slates cannot be allowed next season. It has to be yeah. ruthless. Now, I'll see tonight, United, United this Jason Wilcox approach. Well, never mind that. It's the it's the aftermath. We've pissed off Southampton. That's what United need to start doing. Piss people off. Like, piss the players off. Make the oh, you can't do this. Oh, oh, I can do this. You know. Yeah, we're stealing wives and girlfriends. Is what yeah, the yeah, got to yeah. be. Let 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 us be the two faced people. Yeah. Be ruthless and get to the top, but without breaking the rules. You know what I mean. So I'm up for breaking the rules as well, to be honest. It doesn't look <laughs> like you get any punishments for them. True, true. <laughs> um, but let's see what Dora has got to say. Players are at fourth, but ETH doesn't help with his setups, which is um, uh, a point. it is a point, it really yeah. is. Yeah, not um, helping himself. And Andy is saying, I'm fed up of some fans defending him, they are stuck in the past, obsessed with continue, con obsessed with continuation for the whatever it i don't know stephanie griffiths 25 people watching um <laughs> and we've got red devil studio who i believe is on at 10 o'clock uh after us this evening great channel to check out uh, how you doing i hope you're well um he's just tired of watching this team and he doesn't trust ineos or the glazers yet True. i Come mean on. the thing is i mean what i understand is saying i don't trust thing ineos, is, ineos haven't had no trust them yeah in, in ineos haven't had to do anything yet They've they haven't had to make one, they haven't had to make one decision. Everything's been interviews and trying to talk the talk, but they haven't had until the season finishes. We're gonna have no idea. Well, Arnold and Murta have gone. One of them's still there. Murta's still there, mate. Arnold's gone. Arnold's Murta, gone. Murta is still in there because other people are still on gardening leave and we can't get them in. Uh, you know, Man United. Mr. Ashworth and Mr. Wilcox will probably won't be here till next year, next summer. And we've got Barada from City. He'll, he'll probably have to negotiate the summer, deal with X, Y, and Z. And and we'll have to like pass the messages on up to the boardroom level and make the decisions. So I, I just hope he's got the brass balls to make some. Oh, he's moved from, he's moved from City to United. He's got big bollocks. <laughs> no, I, don't, I hope he was all right pat you could fire rashford out of the cannon and anthony would still not be able to use his right foot um anthony's last two goals have been from his right foot to be honest um right what's bart got to say sure but tomney bruno rashford Maguire, marshall brian Casemiro. i doubt if all of them will be gone by the time pre-season store tour starts uh, yeah, I think I think really you're just looking at the last three. I think the rest will probably still be there. You know what? It's it's the the the, the Varane one is a weird one. I would love to keep Varane, but I know it's someone. Do you think it's a money situation with Varane? Why they want to get rid of him, or that he's not because he's played a lot of games. He has actually played a lot of more games in a row than I, I, I thought capable. Do you think if he he took a pay cut, they would keep him? Yeah. Or do you think that just don't want him? Yeah, I think like I mean Varane is a bit like sort of a deluxe version of Chris Smalling, where he's not he's not particularly good on the ball, but in the box, you know, defends well. Um, he's not incredibly commanding, but if you could get him for two or three years on 150k a week, they'd take it. But like 
Marshall is like sorry, Varan is one of our like highest highest earners. Yeah. Um, we got financial problems, so unless unless he puts his wallet where his mouth is, we can't we can't keep him just off, you know, new medical reasons. I mean, yeah, say, say a Saudi Pro League team come in and, and bid for Bruno Rashford, Ka Varan Casemiro. Jesus Christ, that there's there's your problem solved. Them yeah, they say, wouldn't go. They wouldn't go. Oh, Why would sell they... the lot. I would sell the lot and start and, and, and buy decent players with experience. No, I understand what you're saying about money, but Rashford's not going to go play Saudi. Bruno's not going to go and play Saudi. Who, say, who says oh, they may have to go? Uh, you know, oh, we're not going. You are going. That's what that, this is what Ineos has to do. You are going. That's the that, and that's the final straw. You are going. You know, we're sold. There's your door. There's your plane ticket. Your chauffeurs at your door, your bag's packed. Bye. This is this is what Ineos needs to be. Ruthless, nasty, two-faced. Maybe that's where your sacrificial lamb is, like Andy, is like we have to put like if Rashford, we can't we can't actually force him to go. But what we can do yeah, we can. is we can put him in the reserves for a year. Like and stick, Jesus stick Christ. and stick to it. Like so that when we tell a player they're going, they go. Or that you know they're they're forming they're playing with Tom Huddleston next season. What what do United accepts a bit from somebody? Start accepting bids and and and, and make Rashford right. I'm not what it is anymore. Why can't United start? Uh, you know, in somebody has to bid for him first, though, isn't it? That's the bloody yeah. issue. You get one bid, you get another bid, you get another bid. There's three or four bids here, and Rashford's like, oh god, what am I gonna? Do? I don't. I want to stay. I want to stay. We'll go and apply for the season ticket. Come back when you want to. You know what I mean. Watch a game in the stand. Because well, offer, offer him to West Ham thirty-five million and see what happens. <laughs> no, just like say, like this is the price that we will accept. Say it's forty million or something like that, and then go and go and offer him to Brighton or or somewhere like that and see what happens. I, I don't know if you can manage a club like that, but if if you, if they are serious about getting players out of the club, they've got to start putting them on the market. And, and threatening them with playing in the reserves, to be honest. Um, yeah, but, and, they wondered how to just to get away with it. I mean, they know, they know. And and they say, they won't come on the socials, will they, and say anything because they stopped doing it now. They know they're playing bad. And they, yeah. and you, and you, and they all look at each other. I mean, it was wave after wave after wave on Saturday. It was like a fucking assault on a Death Star. Fucking wave <laughs> after wave. Side <laughs> fighters. And not even the Millennium Falcon Mason Mount could fucking blow it up. You know what I mean? It was wave after wave after wave. And it absolutely, oh, man. You say, we need, we need to be ruthless. I mean, the, the fan base needs to get nasty with these players. It really does. You know well, what I mean? Not, not it works physically. both ways. The respect and love works both ways with the, with the fans and the players. And, and, and it's, just, it's just not connecting. It, oh, it's there for a moment. Oh, we're all love. Oh, yeah, yeah. We c you can't live off watching YouTube and beating Liverpool for the next nine months. You can't. What? <laughs> you can't do that. I did that for two, three days. I, I crashed my Wi-Fi, my broadband watching that, and I'm sure everybody else did as well. <laughs> but you can't. We just need to be ruthless now. The fans need, like you say, I'm, I'm, I'm the fans need to get that message across to the players. You are not good enough to to wear that shirt anymore. Some of you, you really are not worthy. So, how does that happen? Is is that a is that a fans in the stadium booing the players because you don't really want to see that? They'll do. No, no, you don't want to see that. But it, 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 it what was that sign? What was that sign at Fulham? Play like you mean it. Yeah, yeah, and and oh, we did it, and then they go off missing again. The light, oh. Look, People slag me off and, you know, criticise me. It's only opinion. But half these players, sometimes, they say, do they care or are they just brain dead or oblivious? So they live in a world where we can only dream of what they, you know, do you know what I mean? I know there's, there's what you call it, there's, like, there's, there's issues, mental struggles. Players have that, I understand that. But it's, it's the responsibility of the, of, of, of the employer 
I know the employee the employees must work has to put in a shift. In any walk of life, they have to work. And they're working and getting absolute just God given wealth for playing crap. Absolute crap. And I don't know what to do anymore. You say, I want to just see this summer out now and just enjoy the summer because I'm not even going to the semi final. I've uh, against Coventry. I, I, I didn't apply for a ticket. I'm starting my holiday early. I'm, <laughs> I'm going down. My holiday starts on FA Cup semi final day. I'm driving down south and I won't be watching that. I'll be listening to it. But once I get there, like you say, like you say, if you now get to Wembley, they get to Wembley. I'll be happy, but I will not be watching it because I am not stressing out because I'd rather just start my holiday on that on that semi-final Sunday. I've got an extra day's holiday and I'm going for away for a week with my family and my dog. And that's it. <laughs> my missus, my dog and a caravan part and that's it. And I'll just want to enjoy myself and get away from the shit show for a week. I'll even miss Sheffield United because I could not give a toss. That You know what I mean? So it may all change again, but this is like if we beat Chelsea, we beat Liverpool. Liverpool. Mm-hmm. What, what, where's this come from? Why, why is this again? Then, like we played Coventry, we struggled. We struggled to get to an FA Cup final. We struggled. That FA Cup semi final could be like Brighton last year. Yeah, penalties. It could be like that. Mm-hmm. All right, we need to do the comments because there's so many. There's so many here. Um, we got Dora saying this is essentially the same squad squad of players since the Mourinho days. Um, we got Enzotti, who I haven't seen before. I hope you're doing well. And he's saying, What A3 ain't that good? Um, we've got yeah, Steph. Um, we got Dora saying, Weren't there reports that anyone saw that Brentford performance and were disgusted? Someone like Ducker, I think, said that. Yeah, um, that's true, but it was twisted. But it- I've seen this on another channel. He is the big bollocks. I'm not going to name him. We all know him. But I watched it before. And he says it, Ineos seen it and are angry with it. But it's not at, aimed at the manager. This is aimed at the players. Ineos. Ooh. Yeah. I've seen this. Um, I've seen this before. By eight o'clock. I've seen it on the other fuck him channel. You know what I mean? But it's what you call it. It's aimed at the players, not the manager. That comment, it, 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 the media, James Ducker's probably twisted it. You know, you, you can change your content, your contents around just to make it seem critical, you know, but that is aimed at the players. Um, I mean, I, I read the article and um, it, it said that, like, since the Fulham game a couple, like, four or five weeks ago, um, in, in EOS have not been impressed with what they're seeing on the pitch with both players and Ten Hag. So well, I'm, I'm to... glad I'm glad players are now being yeah. brought into the equation. Thank you. Because it's like they 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 you know they've been <clears throat> they've been getting away with it for too long. So if they are as thorough as they are, then hopefully heads will roll heads will roll sooner rather than later. And again, United transfer business normally tends to take place August. It would be nice if the outs were out early, whenever the earliest they could be out, get them out. Yeah. I like heads will roll. Like, do you remember, have you seen that film Apocalypto, Mel Gibson, where like the Incans are just chopping people's heads off on a pyramid <laughs> and they're just spinning down. That's what I want. Uh, and what Stephanie Griffith... dark, but it might get the dressing room going. Well, that's right? that's how that. it stopped, Andy. There was an eclipse. It was light until then. Um, but Steph is saying, no, Joe, I was in my local getting bantered by a Plymouth Argyle fan. What Read the- our <laughs> Oh, and Here's one of my favourites. It's Yali. Next time, Stephanie, remind Plymouth Argyle fans they're one point from front relegation. We shouldn't need to be doing that. The team, the team should be just pl- playing properly. Um, all right, Rajat wants McTominay and Maguire in a two for one deal. <laughs> um, uh, and uh, Pat is saying that Shaw's attitude is as bad as Sancho, Martial, and Rashford's. Uh, I've heard that. Yeah, he's a bit of a he's a bit of a two faced snake backstabber. So uh, yeah, I've heard that. I've, I've heard. 
Have you not heard the birds of the word? No, you know what no, I mean? I, I'm I a don't, bird, bird, no. bird. <laughs> <laughs> but I've heard okay. that. Probably, He's a two-faced backstabber. Uh, you know, I, I, I can say he got picked on by Mourinho, didn't he? I remember that. Mm. But, uh, but maybe, may, maybe the but maybe the person who get who's getting bullied is now the bully. You know what I mean? He's a shit stirrer. You always get shit stirrer when you was in school. You know what I mean? He likes to stir the pot, and he's one of them probably. Yeah, he's also always injured for every Call of Duty release, um, which is just ridiculous. It's true. <laughs> Every time a new Call of Duty game comes out, Luke Shaw has missed missed the following game for like seven years. Well, does he order a McDonald's takeaway and I'm busy? Yeah. You know what I mean? For, for Luke, Shaw, Luke Shaw got banned off uh, off PlayStation because he was giving his account to professional Call of Duty players. Like, he's, he's a weirdo. Uh, I'm but on anyway. Xbox Live. I've got my personal account, but I never give it out. I, I yeah. play online. I play weirdos. You know what I mean. But I'll never tell them who I am. So you what do you play? You may play me. You may play me in the darkness. <laughs> what do you play in the darkness, Andy? Yeah, it's a lot easier on the eyes if you. You know what I mean. Playing the darkness. No, what you games play. are you playing? Oh man, oh wow, that be that like FIFA, car games and all that. Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, I'm there. I'm in nice. the digital. You're in the metaverse, as a Monday would say. Yeah, I'm in the metaverse. Yeah, yeah. I seen him on day the other day. I seen him on TikTok playing his cl- playing his music and all that. You know, he's bouncing. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I bet he's had a good weekend playing his music and his records and we're broadcasting it live. So yeah, yeah. Mondo's had a good one this weekend. I saw him on Saeed's channel thanking Saeed for coming on his own channel. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I seen a clip. It was on Facebook or something. He was uh, he was running late to get home. He was on getting the tube. He was getting the tube home. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, a Monday, man. Um, well, <laughs> yeah, a Monday. The stream like you mean it. Um, they are playing like they mean it. Simply don't care. Um, but I see again. I just think that that's wrong because the Liverpool game they could have just done it. They could have just stopped and not played. I, I, I'm not sure they're not played. I just, I don't, I don't believe that they're not playing. They're not playing for the manager. We expected them to roll over and die against Liverpool. Mm. Yeah, and they come out with that. Then it's it's sort of that euphoria has evaporated, and it's like why does that it? happen? Yeah, it makes no sense. I mean, I couldn't even care less about Thursday on Chelsea if they beat us. They beat us. Like, it's Sunday at Manchester. No, Chelsea are shit. Chelsea are shit. Chelsea can't beat us. Chelsea are absolutely perfect. I said that when we beat them the last game that they were shit. And on Monday, tried to convince me that Chelsea were good and we were good. Chelsea are trash. They made we don't trash, beat Chelsea. They made us look good, Old Trafford, Mr. B. Because the next game, we were trash. <laughs> you know, yeah. Chelsea are that shit. They'll make anybody look good. They made Burnley look good. That's why I don't think they'll beat us. I think we're going to do Chelsea. It's the Liverpool game. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, Chelsea give Man City a game and I think they've got, they've got, a, ch- they've got a chance to, to, even to get to the FA Cup final. And I think they'll give Chelsea, a, 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 Man City, a right game. So that seems to be like, they can do it against teams. They can do it, but it's just not, it's just like us, inconsistent. Agreed. Um, all right. We got Bart saying one thing is for sure: Ineos's performance can never satisfy every single fan on social media. But it's the match-going fans that they need to satisfy first. Mm. That's, that's the lifeblood of the club. Like, and and the connection between the players and the fans has got to be sorted out. Like, it, it can't continue the way it's continuing with Andy going on caravan holidays instead of going to see Mr. <laughs> B's mum. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, you know that, that was a that was a nice afternoon uh, in the cup final. But I, uh, I, I, I say I'm not going to a semi final. You know, if United can't get it up for a semi, then what's the fucking point? <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Uh, Dorda is not surprised about Andy's revelations about Luke Shaw and Raja. Nostalgia is the worst form of loneliness. Kind of miss when we had Ronaldo, 
Rooney and Tevez. I mean, I'd rather keep the nostalgia than this absolute crap what we're watching at the moment. So if it keeps me sane, I'm all good for it. And, and, and did, did you like, were you around for like Ron Atkinson and stuff? Are you a bit like, can you remember those sort yeah, of Yeah, yeah, I can remember Big Ron. Like, hey. what was the. Is is this the worst football that you've seen since since those sort of times? Andrew's saying it's the worst football. Was it Andrew? He's saying it's the worst football he's seen for since he said he's been supporting Man United for sixty six years. He says it's the worst football he's ever seen. I think Andrew's just uh, just in his forties. Um, so unless well, he's it's like... not Andrew. There's somebody else. Ooh, then there's Trenton. somebody else. I'm trying yeah, to work out yeah. who it is. Um. <laughs> I'm trying to work out who I it is. I started going during Big Ron's reign. So I, I've, I've seen mi mi mediocre. I've seen some decent performance from, from United when I was a kid. You get that bug and you're know, going for the league. Then you see mid-table with Fergie. Then you mm. go again. It's like, yeah, I've seen ups, ups and downs. Like, you know, I've seen six plays with Alex Ferguson. I've won in my lifetime, I've won up till 10 years ago. I only had two managers. That was it. Ron Atkinson and Fergie, but like I say, yeah. we've gone through about four to five now. So, all right, we got Yali saying Marshall has gone from the club. Club, not sure if he's in Manchester anymore. I think that Marshall's actually back fit in training. Is my understanding of the situation, whether he's picked or not. Um, Would you give it? You know what? Fuck it. Fuck Rashford off. Don't play him Thursday and let Rash give Marshall a go. Fuck it. Get those gloves out. <laughs> get the gloves out. You know, just give him a go. No, just give him a go. Look, if well, we're not going to keep him, but if you, if he contributes to a few wins here and there, we beat Chelsea, we you know, beat Liverpool, we'll get to a final without Marcus Rashford. I'm all for it. Why not? Do you Would think Hag got the balls to drop him? He has to. He has to. Because, you know, there was that moment where the, he... he uh, he said it before, didn't he? Uh, he played like Jack Grealish for 10 minutes. Then he held the ball up and gave it back to Bruno. On Saturday night, Rashford did that, didn't he? Then he just went, for did it for 10 minutes and totally went so, so shy off the radar. But yeah, maybe he has to drop him. You know what I mean? Like he's, he's put so much he's faith that. in the Belfast lad. You know what I mean? <laughs> The Belfast Beppe, he's put so yeah. much faith into him, and he's getting like I say, he's, he's, he's not repaying at all. He's, he's he gets away with fucking murder. Look, I, I know, I, I know he's lost a he, he lost a cousin, and I understand that. We all like to say, we all have to deal with our you know gr grieving. I understand that. I've lost family members, you know, but yeah, if you cannot motivate yourself, and uh, 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 like you say. Mm -hmm. Honour your, uh, honor your cousin. Remember him, you know. Show your cousin who's watching from above. Play like the player you are, Rashford. Don't let it affect you. Deal with it, man. You know, use it. Use it as motivation. Everyone's different. I get it. You know what I mean? I I'm agree. Going on at him. Are, are, the, are the fans on his back at Old Trafford now? I wouldn't say that. I mean, I think it was after the Belfast incident, it was like, it was a bit frosty. So, but, um, I say, when Rashford come back against Wolves and he scored, everyone's bouncing out there, that goal, you know what I mean? So, it it's it's the finish, and, you know, it's the attitude, you know, when he scored against Tottenham and he's like, ah, yeah, you know, oh, yeah, cool. he's, yeah. you know, like, check me out, you know, yeah, a week later, I'm a piss head on the Belfast tequila floor. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's so, all I'm not in I'm I'm just th there is a player in there, but that player doesn't want to turn up anymore. He has to, he has to be yeah, you know, you cannot carry on with him for another two, three years till he's first. So, so as and, and this is my point, we see we see how he plays, we see he makes no effort in closing down. Why isn't Ten Hag dropping him? Because he's, if you look at it, I said this, there's nothing on the backup on Saturday. We had that, he, he had to play him because we had nothing on the bench to throw on in reserve, did we? We had Antony, uh, Casemiro and Ericsson. Uh, Ericsson wasn't used. And uh, it's just, what, what what do you do? If you've got, if you have to play these players that's a, not performing week in, week out, and you've got nothing in reserve to replace them, 
What are you going to do? It's stuck between a rock and a hard place, Mr. B. It, it's just so frustrating. In any other club, there is another player to replace another player. Or the manager's brave enough to drop the player who's not performing. Yeah, right, he, can, he can play Garnacho, right? He can play Anthony. Anthony on the left. Yeah, he yeah, could or, do or that. the other way around. Would he you, can play you... Mount. Like, you can even play Ericsson out on left wing if you want. Like, there's, lot, there's lots of things you could do. But the thing is, is Rashford has a goal threat. And that's that's essentially why why he plays. Like Other teams have to set up for Marcus Rashford because of that pace and the ability that we see from him sometimes. And Ten Hag has just like, they, they gave him that ridiculous contract, right? Like, and Rashford's had the club by the balls ever since. Sure. Um, because he's got he's got to be played all the time. And Rashford... It doesn't. It doesn't. I, why not give Ahmad a go on Thursday? Play Ahmad. Well, I'd, I'd, to be honest, Andy, I'd, I'd start Mount at, like, at left wing over Rashford at the moment. And I'd play Ahmad at right wing. Yeah, I would. I I I, I ring the changes. <laughs> okay, even bring Marshall back for the Chelsea game because <laughs> you got no. I'm seriously like you know, just, just we're not going to keep him, but use him if he's fit. Use him. Yeah, but, but I mean, do you remember after Liverpool, the only player that I think got dropped was Delo, like after the seven nil. Like um, I'm I'm absolutely convinced you'll see Rashford start against against Chelsea, and I'm convinced you'll see him start against Liverpool. Like it's, it's he's not getting dropped. Like, he 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 won't get dropped. He what's he have dropped. to do to get dropped though? He missed training. You're pissed up in Belfast. I don't Nothing. I don't understand it, what the accountability is with this team it, at the it, moment. Well, who who's that? Like, again, who who is that down to? Because it, was the manager? He, he, he's the he, one picking them. Did you I, see that is, TikTok last week? Have you seen it? Um, there's a guy who's who's bought. Rashford's Bentley that got rolled off just before. Oh, Christmas. Matt Armstrong. Yeah, and he's going to restore it custom made. He's going to restore it and get it back on the road. Well, I tell you what, you might as well work on Marcus Rashford while you're at it, mate. <laughs> he's going to need a restoration of mental, monumental proportions on Marcus Rashford. You know what I mean? It's to get Rashford going again. Maybe when that car's firing again, Rashford fires again. I don't know. I don't know how life works anymore. <laughs> I mean, is... the back wheels are off it. There's no fucking suspension on the back, so that must be like there's nothing in Rashford's legs. You get that fight, you get them four wheels going again. It, it's it is a psychological go. thing. All right, let's look, let's look at some comments. Dora's telling me to shut up. I, I don't know why, but I'll take it on board. Um, <laughs> protect and nurture our young players, unlike Barca, who have wrecked Pedri Gavi and especially Fatty. Um, so maybe that's in relation Ansu Fati. Maybe that's in relation to overplaying players like Ganacho, Menu, Hoyland. Like they could they could do with the rest? Andy, he thought Brentford were very good. He was. They were. They were brilliant. brilliant. Yeah. I thought they were brilliant for 90, 97 minutes. They were brilliant. I even thought they were going to nick it. Yeah, and what they really reminded me of, Andy, was that Newcastle game that you brought up earlier, where all the top teams, are, like they, they, they're going to call Brentford are going to cause you problems, right? But every top team, a bit like against Newcastle, have found a way around the physicality. United just can't do it. Like it, a, a damning performance from from Brentford, but from us against Brentford. Um, and we've got Steph saying, too busy congratulating themselves from the Liverpool game. We'll live off that performance for weeks. That's what these players do. Uh, I, I agree with that, to mm. be honest. I mean, it could get nasty next Sunday against Liverpool. We we could be shown up for the mugs we are. You know, so just bear that in mind for next week. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Palmer... Uh, is from Chelsea, not a red by heart. Is Palmer from Chelsea, not a red by heart? Um, I, d I don't know, I'm afraid. No idea. The, the weird thing about Palmer, I found this out at Christmas. My get my other half side is related to him. He's like a cousin to her. And I found that out at Christmas. It, you know, from, from my father-in-law, and he's a City fan. 
And that and that's and that's like a oh wow, that's so weird. That's a, to find out my missus is related to him. Well, we've all got skeletons in our closet. <laughs> Always black teeth in the family, Andy. Um, right. Yale wants to mention Ipswich. They're flying high with an ex United dude in the hot seat, which is this um uh Kieran McKenna. Yeah, McKenna, yeah. Yeah, they want a date flying high, aren't they? Williams Swansabi in the team. Williams is injured though, so maybe that's why they're doing well. Um, and Andy watches a lot of uh championship football, is saying what a season they're having. Um Sub Vids has brought up the 1973 to 1974 season. I'm afraid a Monday's not here to tell mm -hmm. me what that's about. Listen. We were relegated, and yeah, I was that was the season I was born. Was it? My dad always says that the that the um, the season after relegation was one of his favourite seasons ever. So it was brilliant. Same, yeah, my dad says that is um, wow. Yeah, it was the United, United away following was fantastic in the yeah. season. And there's, there's, I've seen a video. United took about fifteen thousand to Leighton Orient, and the ground yeah. only held about twelve thousand. <laughs> Yeah, it's weird that, isn't it? But it's like my, my dad honestly says that he enjoyed it more than the treble season because he was living in London. He used to watch them, at, like you know, at grounds like Leighton Orient, and said it was just, it was just a fantastic time. Oh, there's a famous match where they were two 0 down or two one down against Sunderland, and it was like 60, 60 yeah. and more, and, it, and, it, and scored two at straight for them. My dad was there. He tells me about it. You know what I mean? Like beating Stoke City, playing it. Go, go to away days that you've never been, and it, they say it was the best season. Uh, well, if we keep Rashford days. and if we keep Rashford and Ten Hag, maybe we can we'll see that again in a season or two. Peterborough <laughs> away, yeah, well, maybe playing in the Championship will be refreshing for United <laughs> fans. Um, Ineos probably told him he had to protect their most valuable asset. Um, so don't Andrew quote me, Predator. Don't quote me. You're an asset, an, an expendable asset. Yeah, don't quote me that. <laughs> um, and we've got Emma Griffiths in. Uh, sorry, Emma Griffiths. We've got Emma K in the house. Um, Emma, in the last week, actually, this probably isn't going to interest anyone, but I built um, an AI program, uh, like a large language model, that I've fed all of the FFP documents into, and I'm going to start finding out about how much we can spend on FFP and what the rules are in the coming week. Um, I'll leave that to you, bro. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave that to you, bro. Time. 400, that's an evil million <laughs> yeah. dollars. It's always, it's always good when you have to say who you're impersonating. Most <laughs> of my favourite types of impersonation. <laughs> I hope um, you do that, Bath Time. I hope you, I I hope do. you, do, you quote, uh, that's an evil, you know, we what and build it up to that little get your voice croaky for that's an evil. I definitely will. I've got his haircut at the moment as well, which is a bit you annoying. Bald. You bald. Yeah. No, I am now. I had to, I had to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They there's my nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with being bald bath time. No, well, I mean I'm hoping it grows back, but um I quite like it actually. I, I find myself touching the top of my head a does lot. Does the does the wife like it? Um, yeah, she's just pleased that like I don't have a big scar and things. Okay. Okay. Like um, Stone Cold Steve Austin look, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's who I'm getting for. Right. Yale, what is this? Rashford should be good next season. He's a Jojo. Yo-yo. Surely, yeah, yo-yo. One terrible season, one good season. Um uh, all right, Dora. I don't think so. Every team adapts. Only United stick to the same old shit, even when it when it stinks. I completely agree. Like the players never solve problems on the pitch. We just do the same thing over and over again and hope that it that it works out. Um, Emma K, have you guys talked about the Wilcox news that he's resigned from Southampton and coming to us? Look, to be honest, Emma, unless he's providing competition to Anthony. I'm not that interested in another sort of like mid-level management position. I mean, and yeah, he's on gardening leave, and we won't get him for another year anyway. So he's just like the you know Brailsford bit, not interested. 
Oh, it's hypothetic. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Oh, who cares, man? It's a year down the line. This is, we need it now. Mm. We need, we need to be starting tomorrow. Now. Yeah, you know, who's, who's, who's organising this summer? Is it the tea lady? You know what I mean? Is it Kathy on reception at Carrington? <laughs> She's got more transfer input than fucking half these United people upstairs. Yeah, I mean, she's to be honest, the transfer that would break my heart the most if like Liverpool or City came in for Kathy. That would be, that'd, that'd, <laughs> yeah, you know, I could see that. I mean, I, I could see the Glazers selling Kathy, you know, <laughs> you, know, for, you know, for a decent kettle and maybe a like an espresso machine, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, um, all right, but Emma, like, if you I, I don't want to dismiss this comment because I don't find the Wilcox news interesting, like, can, can you let us know if there's any like what he's doing? And I mean, I know we're meant to be giving you the news, but all I, know, it's guys, all I know is Man United approached Southampton, just tried to discuss the fee, Southampton, Southampton dismissed it, then told United no. Wilcox basically resigned from the position, retired himself, and he wants to join United. But is is the legal ramifications because of his resigning? You know what I mean? Like you can, you can, you, can you resign out of a contract and go to somewhere straight away? So if you get paid enough money, I'm sure they can work it out. Uh, it, could, it could be garden leave another, like you say, a year down the line. Well, if he is here in the summer. Fair, fair play, so but that's about it. He's not mm. a marquee signing, is it? The only thing I remember about JC Wilcox, he won he won one title medal in a tussle with us in, in the nineties with Blackburn. There's a right. Oh, is it him? Yeah, yeah. That's the Wilcox I remember. Money grabber Wilcox from Blackburn. Yeah, that's the same Wilcox that they're talking that's about. The same yet, yeah, Jason Wilcox oh, play for Blackburn right. Rovers with Mister Shearer. You know what I mean? I've got, I've got his picture. Let me see now. Yeah, I, d I don't know about the law, Andrew, because like, it, sorry, Andy, um, because it's, uh, it's oh, oh, Mr. Tate. I'm not too sure about the law because um, we've left we've left the EU, in it? So I d like European employment laws are all different, um, but hopefully we can get something done. Uh, Bart, which uh, I am using Mistral, Bart. Um, so it's free. It's a local local server. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll show it. I'll show it on stream tomorrow. Um, right, Stephanie, polishing is cheaper than cutting in relation to hair. Um, I, I, do you know what? I might polish myself up later, um, but not in that way. All right. I know what you're thinking. Not that. Uh, I've done that already. It's after the watershed. <laughs> All right. Boxing straight talk. Ten hag out. Exclamation marks. Question mark. I. I'd get rid of him, to be honest, but I'd also get rid of pretty much everyone at this moment. In time. I don't know what to expect anymore. I really don't. I mean, everyone has a valid point now, don't they? Everyone's questioning yeah. everything. You're entitled to that. If, if you pull the trigger on Ten Hag, you got to pull the trigger on the players. That, that that's 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 exactly where I am at the moment. If he goes, the players have to go as well. I I won't be happy, but I'd accept it that. The club have taken notice of all of the bullshit that they've seen since December the 24th when they've taken notice. They've got it written down or down on their laptop, wherever they keep this information. And come the end of the season, on this date, you did this. On this game, you ran less than blah, blah, blah. You haven't shown any attitude in training. They've got all these things on camera, so it's not something that they, can, they can't they can see. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I, yeah. I, you can't, yeah. You can't go on yeah. court. I, I never did that. <laughs> It's on Sky Sports TV. Yeah. 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 I, I, ju I just I just think that if he goes and the players go as well, not it might not be the ones that we want, which is fine, granted. But if he goes and, you know, you get four or five players, even ones that we didn't even think were going to, I'm, I'm all for that. Not Martial, Ericsson, the easy one. Martial's contract's done. He's gone. No, Ericsson a, ain't playing. He's, I agree, yeah. Mr. B. One mm. of them, one big gun has to go with, with that contingent, like you say. Mm. Uh, if it's McTominay, Rashford, Bruno, more the merrier. Because I am sick to the back teeth of him now. Really sick to the Even back teeth. Even Bruno? Bruno's at a crossroads now. He's at a crossroads. You know, we, you know it's in him to be brilliant. You know we can do it. Yeah. But maybe having a captain, sir, it's... It, 
he's dragging him down. I mean, look at Harry Maguire. Look at I him said since that he, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, you know, if mm. you, you don't need it, it's, it's a poison chalice. You know what I mean? So give it someone else. I don't know. I really don't know anymore. It's, it's been 10 years like, since we had a decent captain. You know what I mean? And that was like Real Ferdinand Vidic. Mm. So... Um, Bruno's overrated. Not tonight, he isn't. Um, it's King T'Challa. It's nice It's nice to see you again. Um, it's a fair you, call, on. United fans now are, are actually say most United fans are coming to the conclusion. Now Bruno maybe as well, yeah. I know it's the match going fans that matter, but uh, Ineos now know these little things on social media, these little pockets of resistance, uh, 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 and it's starting to rise towards the players now, and it's been there, and now it has been noticed. You know, it's been noticed, and now, like you say, the anger is building towards these set of players that yeah. have under, underperformed and undermined everybody for the last three to five years. Yeah, we've done it, we've done it, yeah! Oh, 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 I best just not do anything and look after myself. The Self-Preservation Society, as endorsed by Marcus Rashford. <laughs> All right, we've got uh, Nicholas Mytha says, Bruno's been reserving energy for the national team. He wants to be the star in the Euros, wants to win it. I mean, Bruno did play with one leg as a centre back against like Liverpool. I think that you can criticize Bruno for a lot of things, but the e energy I don't think is one. And I, I think he is really committed to the club and the managers and stuff. It's just a question of if he's the right man I for know. me. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But maybe you know Rashford, maybe Rashford needs to be absolutely rattled. Drop from the Euros, yeah. sold by United. Find yourself somewhere else, Rashford. You need to be ripped apart and put back together. That's first it. things first is Euros. If he doesn't go to Euros, I think that'll be the start. He he, he can't play any worse. And then he's going to have to decide what he's going to do. Does he want to get back in the Euro squad or is he going to sulk for the rest of the three years that, that he's going to be at Man United? You know what I mean? Well, maybe, maybe get a Southgate, like, even if, you know, grow some fucking balls. Yo, I'm, you know... Rashford, you're playing crap for me. And if I ever came to United, you'd still be the same. Even though I don't want Gareth Southgate at United, yeah. I'm, I'm absolutely terrified of it. I don't <laughs> want him there. I would rather read a book inside Old Trafford than fucking watch his football. You know, I'd, rather, I'd rather sit there in the Stratford and read my comics than fucking, you know, <laughs> you know, and, and watch his football. So maybe there needs to, like I say, there needs to be an absolute what's the word, an apocalyptic moment in the club. You know, I could, you know, it, it it shakes everybody. Everyone stands up and pays attention. Football will go bloody hell. Man United have just done that to Marcus mm -hmm. Rashford and moved him on. Yeah, it you can only I mean? be Rashford. It can, it yeah. can, like, to get that effect, I think it can, I think it can only be Rashford. Yeah, or, that would send shockwaves. That would send shockwaves through, I think, the football world. Not yeah. to scare people, but to send out a message, Man United are now seriously meaning business. They may not be back for another three to five years, but that is that 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 is that is the statement. Yeah. I, 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 I'm fully on board with that argument, to be honest. And it's good to see you, DK Wilson, uh, by the way. Right, Andrew has given lots of Bruno comments, um, but King to Charles has summarised them pretty well here. Um, Bruno, uh, the gaps that Bruno leaves in the midfield is criminal. They've been going on since day one. Some of us called it out, but we're called haters. He's playing against us. You're right, bath time, lol. I am now, thank you, Your Majesty. I had a bit of an infection last week, but I've survived. Um, DK, oh, sorry, uh, Nicholas is saying United have a lot of players who just play for contracts. I think he's referring to Shaw um Rashford I don't know who's next I mean maybe you could put McTominay in that he's up for a new contract soon um and then Stephanie is saying she likes Viz comics 
Is that is is that what you you like to dabble in, Andy? Bit of this. That was when I was very younger. This <laughs> very naughty, very humorous. And you can't probably you probably couldn't get away with it in this day and age, but yeah, yeah, Viz comics were funner. <laughs> um Raja is saying that Southgate will make OT a library. Um true, P possible, yeah. Let's get our dictionaries out, page one, everybody. Um, here's a McKay. The summer's gonna be interesting, a bigger media mess than usual. I think there's gonna be United News every five minutes. Personally, I'd bloody love them to cancel the US tour and just make them run up and down Oxford, like Oxford Street, <laughs> Oxford Road even, for the whole bloody summer. You know I'll what, maybe, I know it's commercialism, but maybe United need to do that. Fuck, cancel this US tour, fuck it off. Stay at, home. stay at home. Stay at home and just fucking train. Get them in early. Let them have their holidays. Get it. Don't do it all. Play a few friendlies. Here money. and there, you know. And it's just, money, though. I know, but, you know, it's just, no, no. It can't. I love it's a treat. This, it's a treat for foreign fans, Andy. Could put us back again. This, we're we're yeah. not travelling. Mm. The, the only thing I'd say, Andy, is that like we have people like DK Wilson and Jeff from America, and they're absolutely over the moon when they, like, not only get to see the players, but, like, you know, they saw like uh, Jay and Stephen Housen and people out there, and it was like it was amazing for them. But yeah, for I me, agree. for the good of the club, I think that we got to get a fortress mentality and just put put oh, the their enjoyment. Work. Their enjoyment is our misery because United went over there to pleasure them, <laughs> and we're getting the absolute <laughs> fits. Yeah, it's not fits. Those foreign fans are getting pleasure. Happy. Hey, All right, we are five likes uh, away from 30, but I'm not... To be honest, I know you're always meant to say like and subscribe and stuff like that. So, shush, know. you've said it. No, just think, just no I'm joking. Like Your and subscribe and share, people. That's the whole point of a football yeah. channel. No, exactly. like it or else. Why oh. not? <laughs> 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 um, but we've gone on for almost an hour and 20 minutes and oh, quick. Um, and I think that it's uh, it's probably time to call it a um, uh, a night like um, Andy where where are you this week are you just floating around uh, yeah I'm just floating around <laughs> I will be floating I'm going on the Xbox after this uh, I'll be floating around I'm not in work till Thursday Oh, I can't man. I can't watch the Chelsea game because thank you TNT Sports because I have to effing work when it should have been on a Wednesday night. But thanks TNT Sport, yeah, you've ruined my podcast night. <laughs> you know, I can't do anything, so I'm gonna have to go to work and miss it. So just want to put a nice big thumbs up and a fuck you to TNT Sports. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I can't be doing that Thursday night, and I'm just gonna have a quiet week. I spend time with my family, walk my dog, and just keep me head down. That's it. All right, stay out of trouble. Well, if you want to get in trouble, just yeah, you're welcome anytime that you wanna you wanna just pop hit on. that just hit that button. I'll make yeah, sure. Maybe on tomorrow night, I might say yeah, or maybe on Wednesday night as well. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I mean, coming up this week tomorrow um, is we're gonna do a Chelsea preview tomorrow. But don't worry, important dogs from history is making its return. Oh, I've got God. an. I found another important dog from history that we're going to talk about. Um, we did Baskervilles. No, no, no. Uh, I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to spoil who it is, but it's a well-known one. Um, Wednesday, I think we have a watch along and a match reaction. It's no, the game's on Thursday. Yeah, yeah, the game's Wednesday. on Thursday. Oh, Wednesday, Jay's coming, isn't it? It's supposed to be coming on for six o'clock on Wednesday, but um, look, we'll 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 know what's happening come tomorrow once we've had a, a chat. Oh, Jay's coming on Wednesday. Mm. Yeah, I'll watch mm. that one. I'll watch that one. Yeah. Well, he stood us up last week to go and talk to Gary Neville and um the other one, Carragher. Yeah. Uh, yeah do you know what? I, Slight, I slightly I, higher. I, I don't watch the overlap anymore. I'm. S I know that it's maybe disrespectful, but I am sick of the sight of Gary Neville now. <laughs> really? I'm sick of the sight of Roy Keane. It's jobs for the boys and criticism of its highest degree towards United. And, you know, I just can't do it anymore, man. I can't watch the overlap. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. man. I, I, like, I wouldn't even saying. go on it because I'm volatile. 
I'd probably tell Gary Neville what I think of him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hate the way Andy that like they sit in chairs like they're kings and they have all the fans like sort of around them having to sort of nod at them and they treat it like a royal court. Like Jay is Manchester United through and through. And yeah. like, I don't think he should be treated like that, just made to sort of sit in the stands and be a a sort of token fan representative. But shout out to Jay. I'm sure he had a wonderful time and I'm not criticising his decision to go on. Yeah. Um, like you say, if my, my, my invite, I'll always get lost in the polls to the overlap. I never go on it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been asked to go on it? No, no, no. But like I say, mate, I, I probably, you, you, couldn't, you couldn't control me, mate. <laughs> I'm free and easy. I'll speak, I'll, I'll, speak me, I'll speak my mind at, I'll speak my mind to Gary Neville. You know what I mean? Jamie Carragher, I would. Even Roy Keane. What would you say to Keane? Oh, you say, how come you said what you said about Southgate? Why would you say that? Did you really mean it? Or are you just saying it? You got an ear, you got earpiece in your ear. You know what I mean? Would the real Roy Keane please stand up? Because nah. he, he's stamped on Southgate, isn't it? Like, and he really enjoyed himself. Yeah, I would have got a shelf gate because I think he brings the best out of the Majesty A team. Shite. <laughs> He'd be drinking right. before. Drink! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no, no, no. You know what? I am getting fed up with Roy Keane. I'll admit it. I am sick to death of his, his comments on Sky. He's just jobs for the boys now. That's what it is. Gary Neville, I'll get a look after, you know what I mean? He won't criticise Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, blah, 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 blah. They look mm. after him, yeah. You know, I want fucking Mauricio Pochettino. Gary Neville was pressing him, pressing for that, you know, get ten again, you know. You know, undermine the manager. It's every man, every ex-Man United player undermines the manager. I don't think Rio doesn't, and I'll give respect to Rio Ferdinand, he doesn't do that. You know what I mean? He's not undermined at it said hag over the last two years, but Gary Neville's done a lot of that. I know he's got to do it because he's in a he's in a big job in a so but I say anytime Gary Neville comes on my feed, I just switch off. And he probably like you say, if you want to ban me from Salford, if I ever go to a game, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel the same, Mr. B, about Gary Neville? No, I don't. I I don't watch I don't I don't watch it. So it's, it's I, I might see a clip. I can't see my Sky subscription. Sit to the back seat. Of, uh, I just oh, can't. Wow. I cannot watch Sky anymore. You know, I well, just got, I yeah, get I've... information from you my... guys and this, that, the other, the other channels. Oh, thanks. That that's it. I just cannot watch Sky anymore. It is too. It's too. It's boring. It's too. Like, you know. Oh yeah, Trent. I'm an old guy. I'm an old folger. You know, twenty years ago, I was all for Sky. Always watching it. You cancel soccer AM, you cancel this, that, the other, you can't do this, can't do that. There's no fun in Sky anymore. You know what I mean? And it's gone up probably. My dad's Sky's probably gone up. <laughs> you know what I mean? I I'm yeah, let's we'll 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 skip talking about Sky and satellite TV prices and stuff. Yeah, so, so yeah. that's why I've left it. I'm yeah. I'm glad I did. <laughs> oh, All right. Well, well thank look, yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you so much, um, Andy, for joining us, and thank you for everyone that's watching. We'll be back. Let we'll be back tomorrow, tomorrow. at nine o'clock. Uh, so it's good night from me and me and Andy, and it's good night for me. The three runnies. <laughs> <laughs>